My name is Barry Cooper. Uh, according to my bosses during an Associated Press interview, they claimed I was one of the top narcotics agents in the country at the time. I've worked joint operations and was cross-trained by the U.S. Border Patrol, U.S. Military, FBI, U.S. Customs. Unfortunately, I'm responsible for arresting hundreds of citizens for nonviolent drug crimes. And during my tenure as a narcotics officer, I seized millions of dollars in cash and assets through civil forfeitures. The driver and passenger stated that they don't know where this money came from, they don't want it, they don't want to have anything to do with it. I remember showing my bosses that with my dog, the first money seizure I made paid for my salary, the fuel for the car, and everything for an entire year. They're like, man, this guy is on to something, and I made them rich. We're out here looking for narcotics, large amounts of money, stolen property and weapons. The most egregious thing I see about asset forfeiture is law enforcement's habit of manipulating the citizen out of their money by threatening an arrest if they answer the seizure papers. For example, when I was a police officer and we caught somebody with a large amount of money, whether it was drug money or not, we straight up told them on the side of the highway, we're not taking you to jail right now for money laundering, although we could. Within 30 days, you're going to get a letter in the mail saying you're being sued for this money because we think it's drug money. If you answer the charges and you fight for this money, then I'm going to come after you with an arrest warrant for money laundering, and we're gonna arrest you, put you in jail. If you choose not to answer the civil paperwork, we will win the money in default, and you'll never hear from us again. How much money you got? That's not yours, is it? Well, I'm seizing it. A human burden of proof that's required is beyond a reasonable doubt because we're breathing and we're alive and it takes more evidence, to, it's supposed to take more evidence to seize us and put us in a cage. But it takes half that evidence to seize property because it's not breathing, it doesn't have any civil rights. So it's seized based on what's called the preponderance of the evidence. If most of the evidence says it could be drug money, then it's gonna be seized and it's gonna be taken.